Don't lose weight until you understand the science of fat cells. The body likes balance and homeostasis. So when we take it away from its natural set point, it fights with us to go back to normal. The problem is that shrunken fat cells will always be ready and waiting to fill up again if we quickly enter calorie excess. This is why it's so easy to yo-yo after a diet. Our body is primed to return to previous body fat levels where it's homeostatic places, or worse yet, higher fat levels. Depending on how quickly you gain body fat, not only will you fill your original fat cells back up, but your body will create even more. This is why people struggle dieting for the second time after having rebounded. They now have 10 to 20% more fat cells. They may be smaller fat cells, but there are more of them and they're more spread out. Smaller fat cells have less leptin, a hormone that tells you when you're full, and they're more sensitive to insulin, which is a storage hormone. This is why the point is not to get in shape, but to figure out how to stay in shape. To do this, you need a plan for after. After my 2014 experience, I developed a five-phase methodology to help you get into the shape of your life for life. A few key parts to include in your plan. Number one, gradually increase calories and reduce expenditure. Number two, maintain all your accountability system, weigh-ins, pictures, coaching, whatever it may be. Number three, change your goal setting from physique oriented to performance based. Number four, when you're eating out, focus on the company, not the food. And number five, if you mess up, don't punish yourself. Own it and move on immediately. Remember, the longer you keep the weight off, the more you reduce the risk of subsequent regain.